That sounds loud. I just sort out settings. McGuffin is recruiting. We've oh, I missed the first bit. Let's go to your new home first. Uh, before we do that, let's figure out sounds. It's a bug. Um. Maybe I'll need to change it later, but that's fine for now. Um, do I change this to Quake Binds or or not? Hey, Moonfire. It says movement ability. Crouch. Swap weapon. Multi gadget interact. Oh, that's all map editing, is it? Okay, fine. I'm gonna change my binds. What's my crouch ability? That's that, I know. Ability? Um... Is interacting important? I need a comfortable scheme to crouch jump. Oh really? Let's do this then and that instead. Balls I think. Out. Holy crap! Holy shit! 127 months. Hey, Tall Whipper. How's it going, dude? Thank you very much, man. That's violently unnecessary. Wait, how long actually is that? Is that that's not 10 years, is it? Is that 10 years? Am I going mad? I'm actually getting a calculator out because I cannot possibly accept that. Jesus Christ, it's 10 and a half years! <laughs> that is... I don't know what to say, dude. I don't know what... <laughs> For probably like four of those years I've not been streaming. <laughs> Maybe not that many. Maybe like three. Uh, I don't even remember what my binds are already, but that's fine. Um, just gonna... We're almost there, I think. Um... I won't worry about crosshair at the moment. Um, shit, sure, I'm using uh, quick binds. It, it, that is insane. That's what I, that's what I did in my head, Asen, but I it it didn't make rational sense to me. It made mathematical sense, but it made ra it, I couldn't rationalise it, so I had to check. <laughs> right, guys, I I have never launched this game before. I literally just launched it now. I just bought it now, launched it now. My knowledge of this game is 
sort of streams that I've mostly had on mute while I'm working. Um, I've read an interview with James um, that happened around launch. I have read the introduction, or what is it, the announcement post. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this at the moment. I have some uh, judgments already just from having a look at it, looked at it, but I've obviously not tried it myself. Um, so I'm going to try and give a honest and fair account of, uh, of my experience uh, with this game. So I'll, I'll try and move around. Hey, Dr. Pod. So use and find the jump pad. I saw something about a, um, what did I see? That you could, like, slide and maintain speed or something like that? Or like a fraction more UPS than what it is, you know, without strafing? Uh, fine, and use the jump pad. Is this the jump pad? Boing! Oh shit. Now let's pick a load out at the weapon. So I do, this is the kind of thing that James has created. I, I like this sort of open worldy feeling kind of lobby. This to me is nice and this to me should be more present in online games in my opinion. I, I think this is quite neat and I genuinely think this has scope for like even more. Like no one's actually fighting in this area. Did I see a announcement recently for like a MMO FPS or something like that? I can't remember what the name of it would have been. But anyway, I, I I feel like it's an uh, it's a cool idea. I like I like this a lot. And it's um, did Diabotical itself have something like this? I don't think it did. I think you could go into like a warm up area, or you could go into your own personal like home kind of thing, um, or training. But it wasn't like this uh, from what I remember. Alright, so I've got to pick a loadout. Um, at the weapon rack, here you can test all different weapons and abilities. Is that weapon rack up here? No, that's the play button there. Psst. Where's the weapon rack? Oh, that's the credit. Hi! Mm. Noctis is the lead backend programmer. Engine programmer Martin Nelson. Is that CZM? Or am I going mad? That can't be. No, his surname's Nelson, not Nelson, and Nelson is Swedish, I presume, so. Um Where's the weapon rack? <laughs> I don't know where the weapon rack is. Ah, so there is a little bop thing, isn't there? Like I had before. Is this the weapon rack? Looks like a rack of weapons. You can hold crouch and reset with jump. Since sly right, okay. Now let's pick a loadout of the weapon rack here. You can test all different weapons and abilities before heading into battle. Okay. Why I didn't click anything. Did I click something? I wasn't ready to click anything. Um so you've got chunk, they're in your face type of suit. You can leap into combat and drop shields for protection. Echo HMG. Shaft, rocket hail, egg bot, fast horizontal movement. No, I don't want it. Ah! I am just, I'm just browsing. Then your face type suit can leap into combat and drop shields. Wait, did they just swap round? Why have they swapped round? <laughs> All right, egg bot. What is they got? Fast horizontal movement. Uh, team player have a number of thingies. He's got banshee, spectre. Healing aura. No! Ah! Alright, and the scout. Quick. Uh, this is what I was referring to in Discord, the amount of peeps in the back end doing. 
Hmm. Well, DBT R. R. Quick, agile, annoying, can move all over the map with the help of a hook shot. I. I do fucking hate hook shots, though, is the thing. Alright. Um. You do kind of decelerate. Okay, I kind of, I think I get the movement a little bit. It's definitely simplified massively. I don't think my binds are ideal. Oh, uh, I've also got it on a shift as well. That's why. Okay. I think yeah, shift is fine actually. Practice your aim on target dummies. I assume target ah, oh, target dummies are down here. Do you like do you look do you have to reload? Oh, you do have to reload. Okay, you can reload. They want to measure which suit is popular without confounding variable which is first the lit. I mean, that seems unnecessarily experimental, really. <laughs> if that's the reason, that seems really unnecessary. That's like aggressive A B testing. Um. Do you want to write a new patch came out, so there are only three guns per class. What, wait, what were there? I mean, I've only got two guns, as far as I can tell. Is there headshot damage in this game? What's the G do? What the fuck did I just do? I have no idea what I just did. Oh, so I've got an A. What does the A do? Right, F1 to view your current loadout. Ah, okay, this is helpful. This is what I wanted. Right, okay. Movement bolt. Dodge quickly into battle. So that's like... I think everyone gets that, right? Um... I don't like the speed 300, so like, what does that mean to your average user? You know? Speed 300? Like... Like, even Dota, where you have speed differentials which are flag, you know, are 300 plus or minus like 20 uh, for base movement speeds, it's like, uh, this is kind of like a level of detail that your average Joe doesn't get. Like, in what, what is it in reference to, you know? Um... Summon an aura around you, healing teammates that stay close by. So that like stays around you. Uh, and I think that's it. That sounds like it's all the abilities, right? Headshots are marked yellow. So on the pole, the white signifies the core, red the head. But do, does it actually do more damage then? Is it like, oh, you got a, is it like quake? Oh, you got a headshot. It doesn't mean shit. Or is it like, oh, you got a headshot. It's twice the damage or something. Uh, head over to the armory where you upgrade your suits. Work your way through the progression tree to unlock new cosmetics. Oh, did I miss all these exclamation marks because I was upstairs before? What the hell is going on here? Points. Weekly points. Progress tree under development. Subject to chain based off of feedback. What is going on? So are these just skins? No, they're not. So this reminds me of League of Legends, weirdly. Doesn't this kind of create, like... It's got, like, a sort of Call of Duty kind of thing going on as well, doesn't it? Hi, Rajanio. But it's not like you're creating a build, because you don't have limited points. You just keep collecting them, right? 
Oh shit, okay. So this is all sniper face. Oh, and that stuff's not done yet, I assume. Oh, so presumably if you're a tryhard, you just want to go for these things that actually... Oh, does it give you access to a card? I don't, that's what I don't really get. Okay. Um, I want to go back to the training chunk progression. Is, oh, is that the same thing? Oh, I get it. Yeah, fine. This is the locker where you can equip all the cool skins you've earned. But that... Ah, this is the locker. It's not like in really entirely clear the correlation between the text at the bottom and actually what's the notification on the screen. Um, is what I'm finding. Either that or I missed some text, which um, was crucial, maybe. Right. Uh, I'm not ready to fight yet. I want to keep doing things. Each class has, a skill tr has three skills, those you choose at the start of the match. But does it, does it explain that? <laughs> right, so if I want to play with this chap. So there's two guns I've got here. Oh, okay. The scout. Hmm. Is there something, one of the cl classes that's OP at the moment? Uh, so what does this do? Healing grenade. So do all classes have like a healing or support function? Scanner ability scans the location impact revealing plays on a radius hook shot. Oh, I fucking hate hook shots. Ah, and I just yeah, I'm just not into hook shots. That's the um it's not it wasn't called hook shot in Quake, there was it? It was called Grapple, grappling hook. And yeah, I just never got on with it. So you can't really no scope that because it goes god knows where. Oh right, they've gone a little bit CS on this. Um, who didn't I try? Chunk. They've got a rocket launcher and a shaft. Uh, a shield dome. I do feel like this like why does the scout heal? Isn't the scout meant to be like the the um squishy DPS kind of person who surely should be more glass cannon without with I feel like why why do they all help their team in the same way? I don't understand the law. Yeah, I'm gonna have some chocolate. Ah No, I hate all grapples. All grapples to me. And there's nothing you can say to me that will convince me otherwise. I just I just dislike the mechanic and I I don't even know why. It's just it's nev never been something I've been into. In any game. Apart from Well, even in Zelda, it's annoying. So you can also leap in the direction. Chunky beam. Mm. It's not. It doesn't really feel particularly unique though. If two classes can do the same thing, surely the the little jump thing can be separate to, to the rest of them, and they can have something else instead. That's my first thought. Chunky beam, after a charge up period, fire a powerful beam from your chest. 
Okay. Um... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Cool. Um... So when I'm in it, I thought, oh my god, it's enormous, and I went out, I was like, oh, it's tiny. <laughs> Oh, so it doesn't, like, do damage straight away. Wait. Why didn't it do damage for, like, the beginning? That was odd. <laughs> oh, uh, one health grenade for Okay. Um... I'm pretty damn close to it. Oh shit, you've got to be really close for this. Wow, I didn't realise... Okay, that's not even that far away. Shit. Interesting. Oh, they got a really far away thing. Oh my god, okay, his leap is a little bit more... rambunctious. I guess it is a bit different to the um, egg bar. Oh wait, that's not who I wanted. Wait, is it who I wanted? It was who I wanted. But they keep changing! Wait, why have I got a different weapon? That's not... Wait, what? Why is there a different weapon? I, was, I thought there was a sniper. But why is it random? I don't understand the random bit. Shit. Um. But that's not that bit's not roguelike to me. That's um. And my my only reference to roguelike really is playing uh, Hades. And the weapon that you had was not random. The random stuff was like how you upgrade the character. It wasn't the core like weapons that you had uh, as part of your, I don't know, class or whatever. So you can't really test all the weapons unless you keep clicking the classes. Which you wouldn't do. And yeah, so now I've got two guns that feel like they behave relatively similarly. Okay. Can I join warm up? I... I don't think that's, um... I don't think a random element like that should be part of a multiplayer game, in my opinion. It is just my feelings. Because it also has the weapons there, which didn't necessarily correlate with... Okay, I've selected that. So this guy have move? This guy does have movement, but... Okay, I see. So can I just shoot everyone here? So do I have a heal then? Oh, I'm healing now. I pressed A and it's like that acts as a heal. Oh, 
that. Oh, I've got a double jump as well. I don't recall any roguelike light and multiplayer. No, I, I mean, I, I don't... I don't either. The card stuff that I saw online looks kind of interesting, though. Like, I saw um, the... I don't know what's happening. Oh, is that my spending there? Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen a roguelite PvP, but... I know that James gets uh, a lot of inspiration from games like Dota. To me, the roguelike component of Dota is the neutral items that the team gets. Um, so I'm looking for the cooldown on the hookshot. Bloody hell. Did I... Oh, I thought I picked a tanky guy. For trying what, sorry? Something, something. Well, I do think, you know, there's also the, um... The uh, Deadlock game from Valve, isn't that meant to have some roguelike features in it? It's meant to at least be MOBA-esque, and, and I know James kind of wants to turn this into a MOBA at some point. But I, I don't really understand yet how this fits into a multiplayer game, but um, I'll get out of warm-up soon and... What the fuck did I just do? What was- what did I just press? Did my- But my abilities have just changed. How do I get out of a uh, warm-up? Yeah, the, the randomness makes no sense at all, honestly. There's- yeah. I- I, I don't understand how that's user-friendly or intuitive on any level. Um, because even with explanations, I don't, I don't understand why or how that should make me understand how to play the game. I, I think completely remove the random aspects in terms of weapons. Just a, allow a player to choose what weapons they'd like to play with. Um, if there's too many OP combinations, and make restrictions accordingly. Like I, I, I think it's complete nonsense to to make this random. In particular, the reason it's nonsense is if they're guided by principles of esports, which is about making a sort of competitive format to a game. You kind of want to reduce the randomness as much as possible um, to some degree, but that's not a good excuse, Telepa, in my opinion. Like, you can force people to try all the guns by making all the guns look interesting. Forcing people to try all the guns because you don't want them to know what's happening, I don't think is, uh, is like, um, best practice for, like, onboarding players. Um, does that mean if I press find game, I can... Is it find a game? Am I... Is, that a, is it finding a game right now? Oh, now it is. Got it. But they don't want to focus on esports, Telwhipper. But their core focus group that they've worked with are all pros or ex-pros in Quake, in Counter-Strike, in, I don't know, Dota, in Apex Legends. 
And I'm not saying that because I'm pretending to. I'm saying that because James has said that in interviews that he's tested these games with professional players. Now, why else would you get professional players to be your focus group? Um, just check my... Oh, shit. Okay, well... I don't know what's going to be. I recognize some of these names. Everyone's voting for that one, so I imagine it's the best map. If you want to make a game that's good for casual players and not for, for people who are interested in esports, then you, like, get feedback from casual people. But that's, that's like... It, it used to be, like, laughed at by the community, and I'm talking quite a lot of years ago now, and the example that, that made everyone believe this, that you can't design a game for eSports, is when Shoot Mania came along, which was heavily designed for eSports. And we all saw how that it probably actually had more success for a period than it arguably should have. But that was seen as the game that I had no idea what I should pick at all. I'll just go with, with him. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Because none of this was explained, <laughs> apart from the healing aura. Which I'll go with. What do I do here? Um, I I found the data center. I don't know how I found it. Oh my god. <laughs> the whole reload. If I switch weapon there, I probably could have done a bit more. So, can you press A, like, mid-combat, then? No idea what's going on. Is it too loud, guys? I've no... I can't tell. <laughs> Why do I get to pick another character now? I don't understand. Um, sure. That was a mid-air rocket frag that I just got. Hello, water. Oh my god. Alone. What the hell? I stayed alive though, that was good. That was professional gaming right there. I'm sure I'm trying to strafe so bad. So, I don't really think I don't really think I even know what rogue means now. So I've got this barrage of things here as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I don't know where people are meant to be coming from, is the thing. Alone. Oh, we're getting wrecked, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting absolutely smashed. Is that me up soon? Holy shit, I got a kill. So I don't understand why sometimes I'm taking ages to respawn and sometimes I'm taking no time at all to respawn. Is that an enemy though? I can't even tell. So should I stick with one thing or not? Like, that's what's really not clear. Don't know. Just, just go. Just text me. I got a bloody kill, didn't I? I've tried 11 times. <laughs> I consider myself a, a casual gamer now. What are these boxes and things? Absolute clutch, Lord. I got something. I was not checking how close I was to other people. Duration increase. I don't know what just happened. Guns now do extra. Uh, what's that? Randomizer? Well, I couldn't tell that that was an enemy. I thought that was a teammate for a second. <laughs> I felt like I did a lot of damage then.
What the hell? The maps feel really small. Like this feels like a really, really small map to be playing this mode. I keep forgetting I have like a double jump. So what's the calculation for your spawn time? I'll try another one. And see what happens. There's just a lot of shit popping up on the screen, which I'm not understanding. How do I check the uh, data centers then? I think I got to it at some point, but... I just pressed the button, I don't know what I did. But sweet, looks like I've got the right ones. Um, I'm guessing that's not... Working yet? Ah, uh, it's because I keep pr I'm pressing interact uh, or something like that. I wish there was something like in the center of the screen about the shift cooldown, like the movement cooldown. I find it at least quite difficult to look at the different sides of the screen and know what's happening. I can't remember what map I played last time. I think it was Toya that was last. Let's try something else. But then I, later on, I died twice in the round, and then later on I respawned in like one and a half seconds. So I guess that was like an item or something that was picked up. To me, to me like, the impression I get at the moment is that everyone who's working on the project is so used to knowing exactly how it works. But I don't think they are used to knowing how to explain it to people, because it's it comes off as really, like, I don't know, just, just hard to get. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really not explained optimally in my opinion. You're closer to the 45 interval. I don't know what that means. Three, two, one, fight. Oh, bloody hell. I forgot that I have the hook shot. Thank you. you. Took a body shot for me there. I keep. I don't know what I'm doing with the hook shot. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't think you should be able to reselect your class 
I think you should select a class at the beginning of the game. In my opinion, at least. Uh, don't know if I want any of them. I'm guessing you keep your currency onwards. That's kind of what I. But now I've got a different weapon in this round. That's why I'm really. Which I really don't get at all. Oh my god. Try dying. But were you telling me to die at a certain time? I'm not sure. Oh, that was Mikkel. It was in my last game, I think. Don't know where I was getting sh shot from there. Shot him in the face somehow. I'll try that. Oh, no money. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not really sure why they've chosen this mode. Honestly, I get. And now, I've, now I don't have the sniper. Yeah, I'm really, really not a fan of how the weapons are managed on classes. I think that's, um, yeah. What's my hookshot ability? Oh, there it is. Oh, I need to try the swinging thing. It's like they've done the whole Athena thing. That's quite neat, to be honest. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Oh, I thought I could go through there. <laughs> I'm enjoying the weapons on the scout the most at the moment, though. Bloody hell. So I get an... Why do I get an upgrade here? I know, Ison, it's bloody hypocritical of me. I've seen people use this as a teleporter. I wanted to see what the big buff was going to be. Well, this seems... This doesn't seem great. That probably is good. Again, I keep I keep uh, upgrading the, uh, the hook shot.
What's that button do again? I have no idea what that does. I can't remember what I just did. Was that a heal I sent out? I'm just running in there. Bloody hell. Uh, I'm guessing there's no, like, balanced rank... Uh, sorry, um, matchmaking? Does that make, that make sense? Skilled matchmaking? There we go. I found the term. I mean, I assume that doesn't exist yet, just because it's um, an alpha. It's not a criticism or a suggestion. I'm gonna do um one more. I guess it, for some reason I know there's a tick there, but to me it's not popping out. What is this? Oh, I've already got a game up. Uh, I really don't want Toya. I guess we got Toya. There actually is, there's, there is a, uh, some kind of matchmaking, a uh, skilled matchmaking. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it seems to be putting me with good players, so it's misjudged me massively. Because <laughs> I'm shit. Um, I don't know what this is doing. Last enemy. I what I'm playing with like Faye? What? Yeah. Bloody hell. I mean, I need it. Don't think I like those weapons that I've got at the moment, honestly. Doesn't uh, Eggbot Boy have other things? I probably like his movement the most out of all of them. Oh, he got like a shield after killing me. Jesus. I'll try the chunk guy. I think it's quite difficult to do this in like a small phase, like between rounds. It feels very, um, rushed.
I don't even know which one the mini plasma gun is. <laughs> Thanks. What does this one thing do? I just press G. Oh, that's my shield. Okay. Got it. Oh, I should have certainly been using that. It's really because I think shaft, I'll go to my shaft line, it's like, oh, it doesn't work like that. Last enemy. I'd actually did that entirely by accident, because I thought I was putting my shield down. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't die there. Yeah, I'm not really used to the binds at all. Um, it only gets shield once per life. Okay. Yeah, that's not clear to me at all. Oh, they are. That's the second one of those that I've got, I think. I mean, I, I've, yeah, com I'd completely forgotten that I had it. But it doesn't say the bind above it, so I'm not sure what key I should be pressing. That's like the really... I thought I could interact with that. Last enemy. I need to get used to crouching a bit more. Bloody hell. I'm just not, I don't really think I'm into the mode. Oh, so I just, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hold crouch the whole time. Ah, I've got a bind for it. Uh, it's just not showing it. Oh, 
I did nothing in that round. Who was I playing again? I was playing this chap. Now he's got rockets, though. Well, do people really use these beams? What is going on? Oh, is that damage over time that was happening? Last enemy. Very confusing. game I've had has either been 4-0 or 0-4 uh, at the moment. I think I'm going to call it there, honestly, guys. Um, it's... The, I like the... I really like this main lobby that I'm about to load into. I think that's really cool. I think I like the cards, but I don't really understand them. I don't think it's explained particularly well and I don't think it's quite executed right I feel like you should get maybe offered a set a single set of cards per new round and perhaps the cards themselves should do a bit more so rather than uh, kind of X amount of increased ammunition or something like that it should be a bit more, either a bit more specific, or just a bit more like fun. And oh, this gun now does 50% more damage, which is like a significant output. Or now suddenly your, I don't know, gadget like explodes in cluster bombs, or like I don't know. I'm not going to be creative about it, but um, it's I don't know. I'm like quite a casual gamer now. Um, I have been probably for a couple of years, and it's really intense going into a game and being told every time new round, you've got to pick a class, and then you've suddenly got random cards that are popping up. Um, it's quite difficult to like digest it. Um, and I think I've played three games now, which isn't a lot. Um, I've probably I've spent like 20, 30 minutes going around, you know, this map and the warm up, and then I've spent 30, 40 minutes doing uh, actual games. And at this point, like 30, 40 minutes in, I don't feel any more comfortable really with what's going on. Um, I'm not comfortable with the weapons being randomly assigned, I think that either make like three weapons assigned or let people choose, you know. Um, why make it complicated? Uh, random isn't going to... Yeah, I just don't, I just don't see anyone who's, you know, never heard of Diabotical previously or never heard of Too Good coming onto this game, finding it and being like, oh fuck yeah, random weapons that I don't like for no reason because then you get you find a weapon that you enjoy using it and suddenly it gets taken away from you and I think that's completely like anti-fun in my opinion um, 
No, I, I, I get that, Tell Whipper. But it's, um... There's no explanation as to what the possibilities are, or, like, examples of them, or what you should be looking out for. And I kind of get, to some degree, you need to kind of play and find out yourself, because you never know what you're going to get. And, and that's sort of, like, the interesting, quirky part of roguelites. But on top of dealing with randomness, and um, I don't think the modes or the maps are quite well suited... Um, weirdly, they've gone to the class-based approach, which is what I think they should have done with the original Diabotical anyway, instead of giving like you know the full plethora arsenal of weapons to everybody available immediately. But they didn't make a objective-based mode. They made it into Clan Arena, which to me is is not like a mode that fits the 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 architecture of the characters. Um, so yes, it's very like it definitely doesn't. The game does not know what it is at all at the moment. Um, the maps, I don't. I think the maps would be much better if they were larger. Um, yeah, for the, and that's just for this mode. I really don't think they should go forward with this mode. I honestly think they should. I, I like the fact they've just gone with a single mode for people to test. But if I were them, I would just, like, delete this mode. And, shit, CTF with this could actually be kind of interesting. Like, I would I would definitely be pretty hyped for trying out some CTF with this. With, is Strafe there or not there a concern to me? I guess as a Quake player, what's attractive to me about the diabolical name is, like, there was Strafe in it and something... I know and I love. The fact that Strafe's not in this isn't a deal breaker, but the rest of the game is not like good enough or clear enough to me to make me want to make that transfer. If there was strafing in this, I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, let's just hammer things out. But they'd have a nightmare balancing things. So I'd probably say like smart move, not put sticking strafing in it. Um, but the problem is, is now like these are fractions of James's fan base which are like no longer into this thing um the mode is being used to test out the classes and weapons at the moment but, uh, but that sounds like bullshit to me to be honest because they've put the game on sale now like, this is the first look in the public eye where people can get their hands on the game. It's meant to be exciting. Um, this is meant to be one of the biggest launches of the game. The fact that it's now available to play um, to anyone and be streamed and, and whatever. And it's had, like, a lot of streamers uh, playing it. But there's so much randomness. It's really difficult to, like, really difficult to, to get used to, in my opinion. So I, I really would like James to step away from this esports focused focus group. And no matter what way you say it, Tell Whipper, like that's the case. They have a lot of people who are known in esports who are testing and trialing out the game. But if the game's not being built for esports, why are these people helping to decide the direction of the game? That's that doesn't make sense. I always condone, like, have people who are going to argue with you and challenge you. And I'm, I just, there's a vision here that's unclear and blurry. Um, and if it was, if it's something that's meant to be good for casual gamers and get popular from the ground up and then maybe become an esports, which is the kind of the way that I think an organic esports game should be formed. Um, yeah, it, it, it needs to go back to the drawing board from like a design standpoint. Um, and figure out what it's trying to be. The roguelike stuff is like... Uh, I think there's a room for it, but it, it just needs... The way I imagine it is like... Is a lot more like neutral items in Dota 2, to be honest. Every certain amount of time during the game, you can unlock something more through some various mechanic that allows you to unlock it. In Dota, it's killing neutral creeps, and you uh, get the neutral items from tier or levels 1 to 5. And um, 
then it doesn't invade your screen space when you're selecting. It's quite easy to do that. And I feel like the cards appearing up on screen massively is um, possibly not the way I'd do it. I'd maybe look at doing it through like a 20 minute game of CTF and every 5 minutes you get a new item or whatever it is, you know. I wouldn't necessarily make, make it a time based mode but make it a capture limit whatever it happens to be. I, d I don't even really, is roguelike a trend at the moment though? I don't know if it is. Then again the only reference I have for roguelike as a proper roguelike really is Hades and otherwise I don't really know. Um, yeah, who's staring at my face? Lol, his face. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I just, yeah. Uh, and honestly, I'm, yeah, I'm probably not gonna play this again until it, um, until it's like makes a more significant change, because it's, um, yeah, I, um, I don't understand. And I honestly think that while some people are finding this game fun, if you look at the Steam charts and see how many people are playing it, after people like Lyric and Forzen and so on and so forth have been streaming this, there's no more than 250 to 300 players concurrently on Steam. Um, which tells me that other people are finding it confusing and difficult to like understand and let alone actually spend the money, purchase, play. I think it's, yeah, it's difficult. Hades is basically current. Okay, I've uh, got it there. In indie games for sure. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I am hearing rumours that James is, I say rumours, he's kind of alluded to it through an interview already. He's wants, He is going after a MOBA type of system, which is going to be very similar to what Valve is chasing with uh, its game Deadlock, and if you're competing versus Valve, um, you need a lot of resources. Um, and a game, you know, if you can beat Valve to it and get in there early and make a game that's comparably good, then amazing, but from a design standpoint, it's it's not there. Uh, it needs to be something more. Anyway, I've, I'm starting to repeat myself massively. I, I am going to go for now. Um, probably if I was streaming again at some point, it'll probably be uh, I've been watching loads of Trackmania recently, maybe it'll be that, but otherwise it'll be Defrag, most likely. But um, th thanks for watching um, my, I guess, first launch of this. Um, if you want to play the game, play the game, enjoy it, but uh, at the moment, no, not my cup of tea. Um, I wish you guys a great night, and I uh, hopefully see you guys soon. Bye, yeah.